little short stopping now I'm winning like I'm Jeter Steady through the rigor, yeah I'm getting bigger Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like So just because I have values and principles one time and I explained it one time, do you think your team catches it? So these, are, when my, my, my daughters have their birthdays, I'm re reminding them of the values and principles that our family stands for. It's wigged. W-I-G-I-D, wigged. W stands for wisdom. In anything, kids, always seek wisdom. Knowledge times experience is wisdom. Number two, initiative. Don't wait for somebody to tell you to do something, kids. So Paul is, take initiative. We go out and get it done. We're the first one to volunteer. We're the first one to say we'll be there. We take initiative. We don't wait for people to tell us what to do. Number three, gratitude. We wanna make sure that in all things we do, we're grateful for, the, for what we have, the little things that we have. You got air in your lungs, you got the opportunity to wake up in the United States of America, and uh, you don't have any appendages that are missing from your body, be grateful. You got a job for 15 bucks an hour, be grateful. You got eight hours you can work today, be grateful. You got a paycheck today, you gotta be grateful. In that gratitude, in the worst of times, it's gonna help you because you say, okay, I'm in this position, I'm in the worst position, but thank God, thank God, I'm also in the best position. That's gratitude. Integrity. All these things don't work if you don't have integrity. People can look at you a certain way, but there's a certain way you look at yourself. And I wanna make sure that you understand you represent yourself as a Sapala. You come in here working like a, like a slob, you're representing the Sapala name. And the name should mean something for you because your daddy's busting his tail to create a good name for you. It's up to you not to screw it up. I'm doing my part to for you to inherit a good name because I'm attempting to live a life of integrity that you don't have to worry about. Think about this. How many, how many of you guys, think about this real quick. How many of you guys, your parents interrupt your day because they're doing something that caused you to say, oh, now I got to have, and by the way, I'm not talking about old age. Maybe you have a parent or a relative that's older than you that's addicted to something because they're lacking this thing in their life. I remember oftentimes in school, I remember parents causing more problems for the kids than the kids were causing for the, ki for, for the parents. That didn't make sense. So I don't want to be a burden to my children. And vice versa, I want my children to be a burden to me. So I'm always constantly talking about living a life of integrity. Now, does that mean the kids are perfect? Of course not. They got their own stuff. But, but the truth is what? In spite of our setbacks and how much we don't like each other and some of the nasty things that we say to each other, we ask for forgiveness because at the end of the day, hey, you're my family. I love you, let's move on, let's get better. Make sure that it never comes out your mouth again. Number five, last but not least, dream. It's the engine that funds everything and fuels everything. Cannot forget what your dream is, kids. Don't forget what you stand for. Don't forget what you're about to, be, what you're about to become. What does Patrick say to his, to his family? Two, two things that Bet Davies don't do. Family standards, don't bully other people. And number two, you also don't get bullied. If somebody starts it, you, you finish it. No, uh, Sheena and I, we had a conversation with the kids, uh, with the, the, the kids' teacher, where, where, where JoJo was interacting with the, the other kids and hair was being pulled, and, and she was very sensitive about that, and I'm like, okay, uh, what's this, is this, just kids just mess around at 11 years old, or is there something more to this? So we're, we're asking JoJo for what happened, what went down. Now, if it keeps coming up, my conversation with the teachers, hey, listen, this is not gonna be your fault, but if, push comes to shove and some kid wants to hit my kid, I've instructed my son to hit back. And it's not your fault, teacher, it's, it's on me. Because I don't wanna make sure my kid, when he goes up to the rest of his world, that somebody hits him, he's gotta stand up for himself. I don't want him to get hit. Oh, teacher, they hit me. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs>